It's 2025. AI is supposed to be a game changer for coding, right? I thought so too, but when I used it at work, it completely failed. It spat out broken code, made up functions and wasted hours of my life. But this isn't just a mistake. It shows a flaw in AI that, frankly, people don't talk about enough. Let me explain. I work in a large tech company. Right now, my team and I are in the middle of rewriting a Python pipeline to Kotlin. Seems simple, right? Well, there's a catch. We use Spark. Now, I'm decent at Kotlin, but Spark? Let's just say it's not my strongest suit. Naturally, I turned to AI coding assistance to speed things up. I tried ChatGPT and then Cursor and Copilot switching between different models. I hear you asking, well, how did they do? Let's say they were exceptionally good at one thing. Wasting my time. I asked for Kotlin with Spark, and what did I get? Well, definitely not that. Sometimes Scala, sometimes Python, and when I got really lucky, I got Kotlin, or at least something that looked like Kotlin, with the wrong imports and wrong functions and code that didn't compile. The result? Utterly, completely, impressively useless code. Now, do I care that AI cannot generate Kotlin with Spark code right now? Not really. I have a different issue. AI struggles with anything that doesn't already have tons of code examples floating around online. If it cannot learn from existing implementations, it just falls apart. And that's a big deal. We're not just talking about new technologies here. Using Spark in Kotlin isn't new, it just isn't as popular. When training AI assistants, you need massive amounts of existing code. So what happens when devs rely on AI for everything? If a tool or library doesn't already have a ton of examples on GitHub, AI won't generate useful code for it. And if AI struggles with it, developers will be less likely to use it too. So over time, will AI just make the popular tools more popular while everything else fades away? Imagine a circle. At the center, you have the most widely used technologies, the ones AI absolutely thrives on. This is where you'll find Python, JavaScript, and TypeScript. These have endless GitHub repositories, thousands of Stack Overflow answers, and AI-generated code that's actually useful. But as you move further out, AI's confidence starts to drop. It still kind of works, but now you'll notice more mistakes, weird syntax choices, and strange, almost but not quite right suggestions. And then you leave the circle, and all hell breaks loose. AI doesn't just struggle, it actively makes things worse. And then either you know how to code, or you're just rerolling AI responses, hoping one of them will work. That said, I use AI all the time. When I'm working with Python or Go project, I rely on cursor. It speeds me up and I just love cursor tabs. The problem isn't AI. 90% of the time it's great, but it's this last 10% when I need to work with less common technologies. AI's reliability drops really fast, and in those moments it doesn't just slow me down. It actively wastes my time. And that's exactly why learning to code still matters. AI is great at repeating what's already popular, but the moment you work with something outside its training data, it's not your assistant, it's just another problem to solve. So has AI taken our jobs? Are we cooked? Not yet. But if we stop learning and let AI do all the thinking, we might as well preheat the oven. AI is incredible, but it's only as good as the data it's trained on. And if no one explores beyond what's already popular, will we recover the same old ideas forever? So keep coding, keep learning, and if you ever step beyond AI's comfort zone, well, get ready. Because AI assistants are useless, sometimes.